Mark away at Barnet on the telly on Saturday. What's your thoughts ahead of the game? Really excited to get back out on the grass. We had a disappointing Tuesday night. So, uh, you know, the game can't come quick enough for us to try and uh, react to that positively and uh, put on a good show. Let's talk about, obviously, the, weeks build, the week building up to the game. Obviously, a disappointing result on Tuesday, but a lot of opportunity within that time to prove things right and get things ready for Saturday. Yeah, definitely. You only learn through your hardship. Um, we were bitterly disappointed with Tuesday. We've had some real positive performances. We've been growing as a group. Sometimes you have to learn through your, your experiences, and we're learning a few harsh lessons at the moment. But... You know, we'll continue to work hard, continue to believe in ourselves and, and continue to fix uh, a couple of the areas that we feel need fixing. That starts with the goalkeeper as well, a bit of competition for Mitch. His lean namesake, Laurie Walker, comes in on loan, hopefully offering a bit of competition for Mitch in goal. Yeah, we've, obviously competition is what we're looking for. We're looking to try and get as much um, you know, competition throughout the, throughout the group. Um, so it's certainly an area there that you know, we, we're, we're strong in now. We've got two really experienced goalkeepers. We've got two younger ones underneath as well. So, yeah, so it's, it's, it's definitely made us stronger and better, and that's what we're looking to do all the time. Of course, it's a much bigger and a much more competitive squad now. Do you expect any more changes here and there over the next few weeks? Yeah, look, we've got to make sure that we be as efficient as we can um, in every sense of the word. And, uh, you know, we can't have players going too stale. And uh, we've also got to balance the books as well. And uh, we're looking to get as much value out of this squad as we can. So, um, yeah, there will probably be uh, a couple of comings and, and maybe goings as well, just to... Um, like I said, keep the keep the balance throughout the squad and make sure that no one goes goes stale. Just a note on George Fowler, obviously a month's loan away at Maidstone and made his debut for them at the weekend on Saturday or Tuesday, I think. Yeah, that's right. He's, he's gone there to get some match minutes and get his sharpness. Um, unfortunately, uh, Giles Phillips got injured. <laughs> uh, you know, literally a day after he, we allowed him to go out on loan, um, and it was a reluctant one. But we also, like I said, we can't afford anyone to go stale. So he's going to go and get some games, and he's ready to come back in. He'll be ready to hit the ground running. Just a note on the injuries as well. Obviously, some players continue to make their recovery in the squad. What's the latest on them? Yeah, look, we've got a few injuries at the moment. Um, there's no secret with that. Um, obviously, Kevin Locko and Giles Phillips are, are still long-term absentees. Um, you know, so they're big players for us. We know we're we're missing them, but no excuses. There's opportunities for other players now and other players to step up. Um, we've obviously got Ben Schroll as well. Got injured when he was out on loan. Um, he, he's you know with a bit of a nasty knee injury. So we've got a few we've got a few long-term ones. But like I said, we have strengthened the squad. Um, it's been another couple of days since Tuesday, a few more lessons learnt, um, another couple of days to try and gel and get more fitness into people because that's always the balancing act when you take new players is that they've got to gel into your squad, but we also, where it's in season, we're almost in pre-season mode with them where we've got to build them up. So it's always difficult to get that balance, but I'm sure if we get through this little spell, um, we're going to be a lot stronger for it in, in the future. People would have got their minutes into them. They'd be up, up and running, ready for 90 minutes. Because in a three-game week, you've got, to be, you've got to be careful with the physicality of this league as well and you don't push anyone too hard too soon and risk losing them for a long period of time, which we can ill afford you know, with, with a couple of the, you know, some of our stronger players on the sidelines at the moment. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video, click here to subscribe.